In this video, we'll talk about mast cells which are involved in the allergic response. Mast cells were discovered by Paul Elrich in 1877. Mast cells are residing underneath the connective tissue. Also, they contain granules which are enriched in histamine and heparin, which are important modulators in immunity. Now, where can mast cells be found? They can be found in many epithelial layers. They can be found in connective tissues as well, mucosal epithelial tissues, skin, especially they are found in geni uh, genitourinary tract and respiratory epithelium. Mast cells are not circulating in the bloodstream like neutrophils. In fact, it comprises only 1% of the circulating leukocytes. Mast cells are born from the bone marrow, from the myeloid progenitor cell, but in the bloodstream, they are initially in an immature state. Eventually, they move from the bloodstream to the tissue space where their differentiation can take place and they become mature mast cells. Mast cells are highly associated with allergic responses. Mast cell has specific receptors known as FC receptors which can bind to IgE antibodies. So whenever there is an allergen mediated exposure, mast cells get sensitized and they degranulate and in these granules there are several allergic mediators. So there are many physiological outcomes of mast cell degranulation like bronchoconstriction, increased glandular secretion, smooth muscle constriction, and vasodilation. Mast cells and basophils are kind of similar, but they have distinct differences as well. So first of all, their nucleus are very different. Mast cell has a roundish shaped nucleus, whereas the basophil has bilobed nucleus. But both of them has the common surface marker CD34. Mast cells are generated from the bone marrow but when they are secreted they are kind of immature but basophils are secreted kind of in a maturation state. Mast cell granule com composition is pretty diverse. It has serine proteases like tryptase, chymase etc. It has histamine, serotonin which are mediators of allergic responses. It has many proteoglycans like heparin which is an anticoagulant. It has several lysosomal enzymes like beta-hydroxyminase, beta-glucuronidase and many others. Mast cells are capable of secreting bunch of cytokines. Some of the most important cytokines are TNF-alpha, interleukin-4. Then they also secrete chemokines such as eosinophil chemotactic factor. So they can also attract eosinophils by these chemokines. Since mast cells take part in allergic response, it's important to note that mast cell is capable of secreting lipid mediators, generally the eicosanoids, such as prostaglandins, thromboxins, all of that, them are kind of associated with an inflammatory response. Now, mast cell can eliminate bacteria as well as parasitic infection. Mast cell has the capability to interact with dendritic cell, B cell, T cells, etc. By secreting cytokine, they can modulate the function of these cells. Mast cells has pattern recognition receptors such as TLR2, which recognize broadly the gram positive bacteria and few selective gram negative bacteria, and also TLR4, which are generally uh, sensitive to the gram negative bacteria. So, mast cell can recognize them and take precautions to eliminate them. Other than these functions, mast cells are involved in enhanced angiogenesis, that means creation of new blood vessels. Mast cells secrete a bunch of angiogenic factors such as VEGF, beta-FGF, TGF-beta, TNF-alpha and interleukin-8. All of these promote angiogenesis. Mast cell is associated with many diseases and these diseases are broadly classified as intrinsic factors that modulate the disease and extrinsic factor. So extrinsic factor mediated diseases involve allergy. So you all already know that allergy is due to some kind of external allergen, pollen grain, etc. Also there could be anaphylaxis. Now intrinsic factors that lead to ma mast cell mediated diseases involve systemic mastocytosis and cutaneous mastocytosis. 
also there is mast cell activation syndrome now cutaneous mastocytosis is a kind of disease which is characterized by several bumps in the skin which can be uh, very similar to rashes and could be painful sometimes they are mistaken as blisters there could be systemic mastocytosis which also involves several rashes stress joint pain overall body pain and a uh, kind of like fatigue anyway this video tells you about the origin of mast cells how they do their job and how they are associated with several diseases like these ones so i hope this video was informative if you like this video give it a quick thumbs up get notes and flashcards in my facebook channel and also in instagram if you want to support our youtube channel you can click on the super thanks option just below the video and you can pay via paytm upi paypal etc see you in next video